Yo my people them, CFC, Willis Blue, back with another video and this is my player ratings video for the Chelsea vs Dynamo Zagreb game in the Champions League today in which Chelsea won 2-1, 2-1 and boy, it's a good performance, it's a good performance and start off with Edouard Mendy and go, my rate for you Mendy, I'm going to give you a 6.5, decent performance, made a couple good saves but um, yep, and now we go on to our right back. L captain says Aspiraquator. SP, he was at fault for kind of like the first goal. You shouldn't have necessarily turned your head back that much, but it is what it is. We didn't end up conceding after that, so it was calm. My rating for you, I want to give you a, I'll give you a six, I'll give you a six point five as well. Then we have centre backs. Trevor Chalabar, who for me again today, he was our best centre back. I want to give him a I'm give him a seven. And then also Kalido Kulabali. Um the thing I don't the thing about you is that you don't rush sometimes, like the way you're going for tackles and that like you're always bound to get a yellow card. Obviously he did go down injured as well, but yeah, it was a decent performance for that for you other than that. So my rating for you, I'm going to give you a six point five. And then left back Kukurela. I mean not Kukurela, Ben Shawal. So sad for you that you got taken off because of your hamstring injury. Because before that you just had a great game. I would have given you um I'll give you a seven as well because you had a great match. Good performance. But it's just sad that you got injured. Speed recovery to you. Uh, boy. And um, then we have our midfielders. We start off with my man of the match, Dennis Zakaria. I felt like he imposed himself so well. Um, the way he picked up the ball and the way he was trying to look for passes, cutting off um, other guys as well. One loss fouls, grants some couple of interceptions and got his goal. Was got a little bit of life, but he got his goal nonetheless, and it was a stellar performance from him, and it's his debut. Damn man, it makes me wish that what would have happened if he played more games for us. We'd have seen so much more, and it would have been like, oh yeah, he could be our star, but we don't know for sure how he will be. Today's game wasn't necessarily a massive test, but it was a test nonetheless, and he passed it with flying colours. So my man of the match, Dennis Zakaria, I'm going to give you a nine great performance from you and then also j5 Jorginho. oh my days people underestimate the quality that you have and the value that you have to our team because for me the way you well the way you basically make the goal the first goal happen passing the ball into space or bam bang back who is it with fine sterling that's all down to you sure there's times where you might give the ball away but it's just your awareness the way you're composed is yourself so well look up for a pass like control the play dictate the game i i love the what you do it's just a shame that um you just get devalued sometimes because people might say that you wouldn't be in our starting 11 if all of our players are fit and um that just goes to show for me that the quality in our team is high but you are a very high level player Jorginho. my reign for you today i'm going to give you a seven and then we move on. Wait, I'll be midfielder today. Sam, Mason Mount. Mason Mount. Um, yeah, for me, you're going to get um, an 8.5. So much energy. You got an assist as well. Honestly, I just love the way he's picking up the ball, getting into the spaces, trying to just. Just trying to press more, getting angry if the ball ain't getting past you, and that. Just trying to. Try and look lively and create more situations where we can score. So for me, I'm gonna give you an eight point five. I mean, I'm gonna give you an eight. Solid performance from you today, and make sure that it happens against Arsenal on the weekend. But then, gonna go off to our attackers. Raheem Sterling ends his goal drought, his eight game goal drought, and got his goal today. Great finish. Wish you, you could have had a second, should have had a second, but 
he goes over the bar. Yeah, man, other than that, it was a calm performance. Other than that, I'm going to give you a 7. I'm going to give you, I'm gonna give you a 7 today. It's a calm performance from you. But I wish I could have seen more from you, if I'm honest with you, Sterling. So, yep, um, let me just give you a 7. Then Kai Havertz. Um, I'm going to give you a 6.5. Calm performance from you. You try to create. Obviously, you're trying to... Obviously, Sterling and Aubameyang are pushing wide and that which allows you to play in the center or just trying to link up everything you did put a good ball in in the first half unfortunately no one got in the end of it like that and could have um get a shot on target but it was a great ball nonetheless but i wish to see more from you kai Havertz. i wish to see more from you getting to dangerous positions taking plays away from the ball which allows Dennis zachariah to play to score his goal but i need to see more from you Havertz. i really do but um my rating for you today, like I said, I'm gonna give you um I'm gonna give you a six point five. And then we have Pierre Michael Bamiang, who got an assist today, who hit the bar. Personally I wish um I would have had Armando Brogia start, but the game you played was better than your last game or your last previous couple games. So I have to give it to you. Hopefully you can take this game and it's a push that you can be better in the Arsenal match because we really need you to be on form in that Arsenal match. You're most likely going to start against your old club and we really need a goal from you. We really do. But yeah, my reign for you today, I'm going to give you a I'm going to give you a seven. But then we have our substitutes. Um we made a triple one at first. Um Thiago Silva, Conor Gallagher and um, Armando Brojo who came on. Brojo was was for me like um, him and Gallagher were very active. Actually, all of them had good opportunities to score. If I'm honest, Gallagher had a chance. Brojo he could have had a chance. He he um he could have had a chance, but he didn't necessarily have a clear cut one. Thiago Silva should have scored a header. Made good impacts, but obviously not a big enough one to extend our lead. But it's minor we got the win. I'm gonna give them all a give them all a five point five. And then our other substitutes, Christian Pulisic, he came on, he looks lively. Um he he created two two opportunities. Two opportunities and um made key passes, but nothing came of it. I like how he played, so I'm gonna give him a five point five as well. And then um our other substitute, if I am not mistaken, because we had Thiago Silva, Pulisic, um, Ruben lost his cheat, that's it. Ruben came on, looked quite threatening, looked like he was going to take a couple of shots, but he didn't in the end. So, yeah, my rating for you, we're going to give you also a 5.5, so all the subs will get a 5.5 for me. This performance, bad performance than what we had against Brighton, which now I need to pattern up. Because next we got Arsenal, and our next three games is not easy. We got Arsenal, City, then Newcastle. We have to, have to win at least two of those games. For me, we have to. If you want to go into the, before the World Cup with great momentum, before going into the winter period. So, yeah, man. But that's gonna be it for me regarding this um player range video for the Chelsea versus Diamond Zagreb game. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Call me Snapchat and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Redis Blue and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.